Oh my god guys, fishing in Unreal Craft is so broken. You can catch 900 pound squids. I can't wait to see what amazing things I can do with such a find. Yeah, fishing in Unreal Craft is broken. Hey guys, welcome to another Unreal Craft video. In this video I will be talking about fishing in Unreal Craft and by the end of the video hopefully you will have learned a few interesting things about this strange farming method. Without wasting much time, I made the pretty much most powerful fishing rods in all of our Railcraft. Without giving it much thoughts, I slapped together a bunch of seemingly useless fishing enchantment books that I almost threw out on a few lucky fishing rods and set out to the Great Blue Sea. Or to be more precise, a bunch of random locations to see what glorious loot that old lady Poseidon had waiting for me. For a day, I left my old life behind to become a true fisherman, and nothing was going to distract me from my cause. No, not even a helpless sheep begging for me to make it go ba for the last time, or a rock carrying me into the sky would stop me from my grand quest of finding out if fishing is good for anything at all in our craft. Well, without beating around the bush, fishing needs to be buffed or something to make it viable for most players, but it has two semi-decent uses. The first, throughout my testing I have noticed that you can get most useful items in the game from fishing. You can get blaze rods, ender pearls, obsidian, nether quartz, soul sand, wither skulls, iron, gold, emeralds, food, random enchantment books, and the Neptunian armor which is better than diamond. But the problem is that most of the good stuff I mentioned can only be caught while fishing in the nether, fishing in lava, or it is extremely uncommon. Because of the rarity, I would recommend doing literally anything else. Because after 6 hours of fishing, I only got like 2 emeralds, 2 gold ingots, 1 ender pearl, and 1 piece of Neptunian armor. And those are some of the positive examples. Now, don't get me wrong, fishing is cool, because technically it is an endless source of items, and this could be very useful on a crowded multiplayer server where getting food and resources is pretty much impossible. But I don't even know if there is an RLCraft multiplayer server out there that has this problem with resources. That is besides the point though. The first point of fishing being semi-useful is that it is an endless supply of anything that you could ever need to survive in the harsh world of RLCraft. The problem though is that progression would be at a snail's pace using fishing alone. The second reason why fishing could be semi-useful is that you can actually fish in the end. I know it sounds crazy, but if you manage to set up an auto fishing farm in the end, you could actually start getting stuff. Since there is so many enchantments in the game though, you probably only would get one good enchantment book every blue moon, but technically the option is there. You will probably get plenty of mending fishing rods and mending bows you could disenchant though. Now as you may already know, because of all the dangerous random events and spawn chances of enemies while fishing, AFK fishing in RL craft is nearly impossible. But the reason why auto fishing can potentially work easily in the end is that cobwebs do not form, meaning that banshees won't attack you while you're AFK. The only issue would be the black plague random event that can happen in the end. That random event would kill you because of the reapers going through the walls to attack you. But if you put yourself in a 1x2 strip, it would be incredibly difficult for the reapers to target you. So perhaps you can find a way to survive. If you set up a magma blocks in the water in front of you while fishing, the hostile fishes that spawn while you fish would get pulled down and killed as well, even the blighted ones. I feel like personally this is still a lot of wasted effort for limited rewards though, but technically, on a crowded multiplayer server, you can make an auto fish farm at a random spot in the end thousands of blocks out, and you potentially could get some decent loot after like, I don't know, days of fishing or so. It takes a very long time. Anyways, now you may have already been able to come to this conclusion on your own, even before listening to my opinion, but fishing is indeed bad in RL Craft. Let me explain exactly why. Fishing is not bad because you can't get good loot, it is bad because of how long it takes for you to get good loot. You can argue it is safe, but doing pretty much anything else, even if you die a lot, will give you more rewards than fishing. I fished for 6 hours on stream in 6 different locations with 4 different fishing rods and the loot I found, while be it useful, I could have obtained most of it in a single dungeon in less than 5 minutes. I will go through the loot I acquired while fishing so you can see what I mean. Also keep in mind that most of the fish I cost with the modded fishing rod I already turned into fish fillets because the fish all have different weights and don't stack, so I couldn't fit most of them into the chests. The cooked fish fillets give you just as much hunger back as eating cooked salmon. With the enchantment heavy, the fish will be heavier as well, and that will give you more fish fillets when you turn them into food. The loot. While fishing in a freshwater pond for one hour, this was all the loot that I managed to acquire. 
the best thing being just a few iron ingots and of course the food. While fishing in the desert for one hour, I got a bit more random loot, including this strange bow with flame and lesser flame on it, but still, for the most part, this loot is not worth an hour of your time. While fishing on a beach in the Lost Cities dimension, I managed to get very little besides some 800 plus pound squids that only turn into two ink sacks like you saw before, some food, and a single emerald. Moving on to the Ice Plains biome in the Lost Cities, in this biome I again got some food, but I also got a Neptunian hoe and Neptunian boots. I am not sure if the Ice Plains biome has an increased chance of getting the Neptunian set, but it was the only fishing spot that I managed to get the gear in. The rest of the loot was pretty subpar though. Now onto the loot I acquired while fishing in the nether. I managed to get a lot of interesting fish that turn into miscellaneous stuff here. Some turn into blaze rods, soul sand, nether wart, obsidian, etc. I would say that lava fishing is definitely more useful than regular fishing for progression, but it is pretty dangerous. The safest way I found fishing in the nether is literally fishing under the lava blocks over your head so mobs can't attack you. Can you set up an auto fish farm this way? I doubt it. Oh, and also, I got a lily pad and salmon while fishing in the nether, so fishing can certainly surprise you. Moving on to the end. This area seemed to give me a standard amount of items, but there was no unique items. Fishing in the end doesn't give you any advantage, it seems, and probably the game didn't expect anyone to be crazy enough to fish here anyways, but of course Mojang has never met me. From my findings, fishing in the end can get you anything you can fish normally besides region-specific fish, making the end an actually pretty good fishing location. Anyways, when I took all the items from fishing and compiled them into chests, I was certainly underwhelmed at what 6 hours of fishing got me. I must also say that I probably could have gotten more loot if I wasn't stubborn and chose to kill nothing that attacked me, but I try not to sweat the details. Fishing for 6 hours got me very little. Fishing is pretty bad unless you have no other choice or are just really really bored and want to see if you can catch a 1000 pound squid or something. But I don't judge, if you want to try your luck while fishing, I wish you nothing but the best. In conclusion, fishing in RL craft is very unique and interesting, but certainly not as useful as even just wandering mindlessly in a random direction. You do get a bit of XP while fishing, and fishing can get you a decent amount of low tier loot in a short period of time with a good fishing rod with lure on it, but getting good loot will take you ages without insane luck. The loot still won't be nearly as good as loot you get from cheesing mob towers and the like anyways. I would rate RLCraft Fishing a 3 out of 10. I do not regret fishing in RLCraft though, it was still very fun, and I appreciated all of you Epic Gamers who were there with me while I was doing it. 6 hours of fishing would have been really boring off stream. Anyways, have a wonderful day, and let me know if you get any interesting fishing loot while on your adventures, because I certainly didn't. Take care out there. Buh bye bye My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush.